All right, so now some conversions. I would never hand anybody my my workflow type of files. TIFFs are definitely workflowy type of files. We want TGA game ready um, files. So uh, to do that, just going to close all. And I'll open my color map and my normal map. For this one, if we go to mode, you're going to see that it's on 32 bit and it needs to be on 8 bit. But if you do an 8 bit, it's going to do this. Okay? So, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is take the marquee tool and go edit, copy. Then file new and make sure it's on 8 bit. Okay. And then edit paste. Now it didn't change the color at all. And now it's 8 bit. And now we can save it as a TGA. So generally I'll make a hand in this is the normal map. Just like that. Now we want twenty four bit here. Now why jump around between 8 and 32 and 24? We want to keep that color space the same. Okay? So we have to make sure we we do the resolution, everything all the same, all the same bit ratio all the way through. Okay? Now for 16 to 24 bit, that's pretty game friendly and if we had an alpha involved, it would 30 be 32 bit friendly. Okay? No alpha on this. Now the other one, it's already actually, um, I think, 8-bit. So let's look at it. Oh, it's already open too. It's over here. Good. So I'm just going to be saving this as TGA. And call this color map. 24 bit. Good. And now, generally, I want to keep a very nice scene to hand out, too. This one's dirty. So I'm just going to save it. This would be good for a tear sheet, however, because you have your uh, UV layout, you have your actual image, and you can just do some you know, snippet tool to develop um, a, a few snippets of your workflow. That's a really nice tear sheet. And one thing I forgot, the sign. So I'm going to just export that. I like giving the client an OBJ of the file. So I'm going to put an OBJ in there. OBJ export. Now if you don't have that, it's the number one question always asked in class where that is. Go into Plugin Manager and make sure OBJ export is turned on. It's right here if it's not. Okay, that way when you make a new scene, You have this. And this doesn't have any data on it at all. 
So window, rendering errors, hypershade. Let's kill this material. Go into textures and import just the textures that we need. Now look at this, it made TIFFs. So we want the color map and the normal map. This is the uh, directory that I hand my client, so I don't want to include anything that I'm not going to be using. So I'm going to delete the TIFFs and the UV check. Double click that, double click this. Okay. I'll make a nice Lambert. Get rid of anything that is not being used. So there's Lambert 2. We'll call this Keep Out. Middle mouse button click and drag it to Color. Middle mouse button, click and drag this to bump map. And for the bump map, you just click on the checkers and you could drop that down to tangent space. Then you middle mouse button, click and drag the ball to the object and hit six on the keyboard and you should have a nice, clean, well-respected object. And when you go to high quality rendering, it should be nice and crisp. This scene doesn't have any weird mud boxian type of stuff in it. It's just the mesh. If you go to hypergraph hierarchy, look at this. One simple object that you should rename. With no spaces. And that's what you want to give the client. Modify center pivot. Get that to the center of the scene. Now we can treat the post in this as two separate objects because if you think about it, you know, you might have this pegged up on a side of a building or a post. So you keep it as two separate game objects, but they share the same UV space, which is nice. So now you saved yourself. Um, if you're going to use it with the post, you could just use the same color, the same normal map, the same color map, the same everything. You just have to go generate those. Okay. So at this point, um, you would have to back all the way up, sculpt the post, Regenerate the normal maps, regenerate everything, and get yourself all the way back to the point where it would have the post colored. And I love doing that. Now the student brain is like, whoa, that's a lot of work. I have to go all the way back to do this. But along the way, you're going to learn all kinds of goofy stuff like uh, workflow. So very important lesson to learn. It sucks you know, to go back, but the workflow is a very important lesson. All right, so that is how you clean up a scene, get it ready for production, and I hope you enjoyed.